Hi friends, welcome back to City Girl Living on a Budget. My name is Julia and it's been a long time since I posted. It's been at least a year and a half to two years. I haven't gone back and checked honestly. And this is like my 10th time filming this video. I don't even know if I'm going to post this. Um, I've just been wanting to post for a while now. Um, it's... I live with my parents and they're aging. They're, they both turned 75 this year. So I'm kind of like fallen into not a hundred percent caregiver role like they can still get around they can still drive they just can't lift heavy things so like our washer dryer is in the basement so I do all of the laundry um, I do a lot of the cleaning I do most of the cooking most of the grocery shopping things like that like that's that's where I've been in addition to working 40 hours a week and then I've been mostly doing eBay as my side hustle although eBay has really slowed down over the last few months um, I've done a few mystery shops but really not enough to like make any difference so I don't go out of my way to do mystery shops anymore just because with everything going on I just if it's like on my like if I'm doing errands and there's a mystery shop like on my route then I'll do it type of thing but I don't go out of my way to like set up you know like four or five mystery shops in a day like I used to and then like just go out and do those I don't do that anymore um so yeah my my side hustle income has definitely gone down but I think and the reason I posted this video is because I realized I sit down and I still do like I still keep a monthly budget right I sit down at the end of the month, like a day or two before the next month starts, and I put a budget together for the next month. I open my laptop several times a month and I check my budget, I pay my bills, I log all those expenses, and then at the end of the month I do a review. I'm like, you know what, I'm still doing this, I can film this, I can film the setting up of the budget at the beginning of the month, I can film one mid-month review, right, one mid-month check-in, and then I can film an end of month budget review for this channel. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to post at least three videos a month. I'm going to try to post other videos like throughout the month. It's not going to be a regular scheduled thing, like new video every Tuesday type of thing. Um, I'm going to try to post at least one additional video. I'm going to try to do at least one video a week in addition to the monthly budget. So we'll see. That's my goal. I don't know if it's actually going to happen. Um, just because... I'm still getting used to the whole like taking care of the parents thing it's a lot like it's a lot so especially with work we're super understaffed at work so I yeah it's it's just I don't know I can't describe it I don't know if I can put it into words I think I need a therapist anyway um so I was gonna, that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna just gonna end up doing that for now. Um, I do want to touch just a little bit on my budget because I live at home now with my parents. There's a few categories that you're gonna see that are missing. The first one is gonna be glaring because it's usually the first expense in everyone's budget, and that is rent. I live with my parents. I do not pay rent. I have never paid rent living at their house. The second one is utilities. My parents, they're on social security, they've got, you know, like they're cashing out some of their 401ks. They have not asked me to pay utilities. I have offered to give them money. They have said no. So I can't force them to take money. I mean, I guess I could, but they're not going to take it. So for now, I'm not paying utilities. Um, the third expense is gas. I pay my car and I pay my insurance for my car that I pay but you're gonna notice that I don't have like a gas budget or like a, a like a transportation budget to pay for gas for my car because they have a they have a I think it's through BP British Petroleum they've got a just a credit card through there that they pay off every month and I use that so they pay for my gas um, and that's, that's just how it is. My parents would rather have me put all my extra money towards my debts. Um, I do pay for groceries. That is the one, I do have a budget line in my, 
I do have a budget line in my or like a line item for my in my budget for groceries. I do I do buy my groceries, um, but they give me money. So like I buy my stuff, and then they give me money to go back to the store to get stuff for the family. Put it that way. And then they do their own grocery shopping too occasionally. Like if they they want like their snacks, but like I'm not going to the store. They like they'll go to the store for themselves. So that's kind of where I'm gonna go with this for now. Um, I'm probably, at least for the first few budget videos, I'm probably gonna like just like put a little reminder in there about the expenses I do not have. So yeah, that's that's it. Uh, we'll see how this posting goes. There's gonna be at least three videos a month, and I'll try to post more as like I find time. I guess I don't know. Um, but if you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the description, or not in the description box. It's been a while since I posted, obviously. Um, you can go ahead and ask me in the comments, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!